How's it going everyone? Monspot here, bringing another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. And today, I've got a few new uh, packs to open up. So today I'm going to be opening up some Chilling Rain packs, talking about the new cards coming out. And yeah, let's just have some fun. I want to see what cards I can get. Uh, I want to get see if I can get some lucky pulls and then kind of go from there and see if there's any interesting deck ideas that we can talk about. So, without further ado, let's just start opening up. Let's see how lucky I am today. I haven't actually done a pack opening in a while. I might actually open up all my boosters. I'm kind of in one of those moods where I'm just keen to see what I can get. So I re haven't really taken a look at this much, so I might take a little bit of a while going through all the cards, going through some of the new artwork. I think I actually might mute the audio for this video from the music, just because there's that irritating like drum roll constantly. The art of this is quite nice. I must say, I've seen a few of these cast forms, I don't like this ability, it's so... It's just never gonna happen. It's gonna be so difficult to actually get this off. I mean, like, I guess when it goes off, it is great, but still. Uh, put up three prize cards into your hand. Then, for each prize card you put in this way, into your hand this way, put a card from your hand face down as a prize card. That's not a very nice way to, like, fix your prize cards. Oh, Crystal, search your deck for Psychic Energy card or Psychic Pokemon if you didn't put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. Ah, not bad. You're just getting a card that you want. And then coughing. And let's see what our first awesome card is. Ooh, Hatterene. Which Rondo? Once in your turn, you may switch your active Pokemon to your bench Pokemon. If you do, your opponent switches their active Pokemon to their bench Pokemon. That's really cool. That's like a free escape rope every turn. Ooh, you can have a lot of fun with this card. This deck does 50 damage. 50 more damage for each energy attached to your op opponent's active Pokemon. It's a beautiful Hatterene, and I mean, the Psychic's decent. Psychic's decent. But that Witch Rondo is really interesting. Sorry, I just want to turn my sound off just so there's not going to be that weird drum roll the whole time. Well, not weird, it's just, like, it's fine and all, but, uh, well, let's just do this. Let's just, I think sound effect will drop that. Right, let's see if that works. Just because I know I've had the comments before where it's a bit irritating. Alright, well that's, which Rondo is quite interesting first open. Um, a free escape rope every turn, you can have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> oh, Sobble. <laughs> it's such a pathetic Pokemon, it's just so cute, it tries so hard, it just looks so sad constantly. <laughs> Search your deck up to three basic rapid strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuff your deck. Basically a core, better core family, but only for rapid strike, which is not bad. Oh, it's a beautiful Lovesta. Oh, that's beautiful artwork. That's really cool. Again, another meh. Uh, yeah, I, I just don't like these cast forms. I think they're really interesting. It's a really cool idea. Very gimmicky idea. But it's just like... Really? Is it ever going to go off? Like, it's so, you really have to build your deck around it. Oh, maybe let's just do it to give it a try. <laughs> I have workout Weedle. I like it. <laughs> Uh, that's such a cool Weedle. <laughs> Little Heracross working out in the at the bottom there. That's very cool. I like that. <laughs> Move to three damage cards from your active Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. A little bit of a damage transfer. Oh, shouldn't have more than three damage cards. Is. That's interesting. But that's Curlia. Search your deck for up to three Curlia and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Interesting. I'm gonna like this. Yeah, that's interesting. You got a deck full of Curliers. Okay. Seabold? Cybold? I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. I'm so sorry. Choose up two of your rapid strike Pokemon and heal 60 damage from each of them. That's not bad. It's. Again, if you're playing purely rapid strike, that's fantastic. It is a supporter, though, which is a bit unfortunate. It's not an item, but it is still really good. Sorina. Trade on. This deck does 50 more damage for each. Retreat cost and your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. For each energy in there. Alright, so the higher the retreat cost, the more damage it deals. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh wait, that was this card. Oh, okay. And what's our special? Oh, two Tyrenas. That works. Tradon's interesting. It's... Uh, again, it's one of those cards that, like, I think it's great outside of super competitive. Like, playing with your mates, playing with your friends. Playing casually, it's a great card. I don't know if it'll actually make a difference in the actual online, in the actual meta. But again, it's one of those cool cards that like, 
for friendlies and for like medium tier play, low tier play, it'll be really cool. Really interesting. <laughs> go, go, Grookey. I still love Grookey. It's my favorite start of the new set. I've never understood Cabrola. It's been one of those weird Pokemon for me ever since it came out. Just very, very strange. Brawly, search your deck for three basic rapid strike Pokemon and put them onto your paint and shuffle your. Okay, again, basically so. Uh, Pokemon fan club, but slightly better, but only for rapid strike. So, eh, I guess it's fair. Clara, put up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Put up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile back into your hand. Okay, interesting. That's. That's not bad. It can be super clutch. It can be super clutch. If you've milled out what you need. Not bad. Uh, another crab brawler. Uh, there's three in the picture. I wonder if I can get a third one over here. Oh, I didn't. Ooh, Malamar. Rapid Strike Malamar. Rapid Strike Tentacles. Reveal any number of Rapid Strike cards from your hand. The attack does 40 damage for each card you revealed in this way. Then shuffle those cards into your deck. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. If you can keep them in your hand, that would have been great. Interesting. Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it would be it would be a bit difficult to get that off. The, the fact that it gets returned. But I guess you can use that support and you put three into your hand. Is this? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I think about it. It, it is interesting. Um. I think it would be difficult to get off consecutively, but again, like... It shouldn't be that hard to get the trap strikes into your hand. That's weird artwork, because it's like low-res artwork. So weird. Then the house with a shepherd gathered in the growing dusk. Sometimes the flavor texts are great. I really do appreciate them. Justified gloves. <laughs> they look like superhero gloves. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active dark Pokemon. Oh, come on. Like... Yeah, no. Again, this is one of those, like, sideboard, or just like to mess with your friend that you're playing against. Anyway, another Curlia. Crushing Gloves. This, the po attacks of the Pokemon's card attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active metal-type Pokemon. Against, again, sideboard card greats. Huh. Messing with your friend again, great, but just as like your standard deck, it's so situational. I just don't like it. I don't like the super situational like that. And Galarian Surfetched, single strike, league strike. If this Pokemon is a Pokemon tool attached, the attack does the attack does the 90 more damage, and this attack's damage isn't affected by resist. So I guess you could just put like crashing gloves on there to just get the attack bonus off. But again, it's just better. So there's just better Pokemon tools you can attach. Another cast form. If you have eight or more stadium cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack costs. It's because I have so many stadiums. Like, my word, it's gonna be so difficult to get that off. I don't know, like, I'm curious to try it to see what it looks like. Oh, it's really cool artwork. I like that. I don't see Lydians too much. Rapid Draw is not bad, but I mean, for stage two, uh, for stage one, if it was on a basic Pokemon, then you could justify it, but to run Lediba and then Lydians just for the Rapid Draw is just too much. There's just better options. Doctor. Draw two cards. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a VMAX, draw two more cards. Again, situational, but I feel like you can get this off quite often. <laughs> okay, I like this card now. <laughs> um, Crabominable. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> I don't like Crab Roller, but the Crabominable. Crab Om. <laughs> Crab Ominable is so great. Flip two coins. This takes nice damage for each head. Terrible Pokemon, but just such great art. Before it stops to think, it just starts pummeling. There are records of it turning back aval avalanches with a flurry of punches. I'd love to see how this stops an avalanche with just its punches. Uh, anyway. Ooh, a new Persimian. Rapid Strike Persimian. Thorin Coach. Your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks deal ni do 9... Wow, I cannot read this morning. Your Rapid Strike Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's benched Pokemon V and benched Pokemon GX. You can't apply 
more than one forward coach ability at a time. Fling. Poke this attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Alright, so it's a way to basically hit your opponent's bench, but it only really hits the Pokemon Vs and Pokemon GXs. Interesting. Ooh, I'm so hurry. I apparently did not sleep enough last night. I can't speak, I can't read, I can't stop yawning. I'm so sorry. Ooh. Celebi VMAX. 310 HP. Curative Forest. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from each of your grass Pokemon. Hey, making a tank here, it's not a bad thing. Max Plant. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. There's any two Pokemon, and you're looking at dropping down 130 damage. The damage is quite low. But this is a very nice support Pokemon. This is a very nice support Pokemon. The two Pokemon you look for, like, but again, I guess it works better in a grass type deck because you're healing up grass type Pokemon anyway. Sure, okay, that's quite cool. Very nice Celebi. Very nice Celebi. All right, let's keep going. Let's see what we got. Another cast form. Oh, that's a very cute card. That's a very cute common puss. <laughs> I normally don't like the clay cards, but that one's very cute. All right, Colette, interesting Lelepa. Oh, okay, so the Lady Bar has basic collect. Okay, fair enough. Again, very cool for like a, a casual type deck, but yeah, other than that, it's a bit difficult. Another cast form, Weather Force. Just draw cards to have six cards in your hand. Like, their abilities are really cool, but just getting eight stadium cards and just got pile will be so difficult. Uh, oh, Melanie. Attach a water energy card from discard pile to one of your Pokemon Vs if you do draw three cards. That's a cool card. That is really cool. I mean, it is not difficult to get a water energy in your discard pile. So you not only energy accelerating, but you're also drawing three cards. That's great. That's a really cool supporter. I like Melanie a lot. Granted, it's only to Pokemon Vs, but again, I'm okay with that. Single Strike Scroll of Piercing. The single strike Pokemon this card is attached to can use the attack on this card. Will it break through? This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance or any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it just deals a straight 120 damage. Deal with it. Interesting, interesting. Um Yeah, I mean it's an option. Three energy. It's not it's not terrible. Um Unfortunately it doesn't hit weakness, which is a bit sad. That would have been quite cool. But it is very cool though. Interesting, I quite like it. <laughs> Another fuzzy crab. Uh lucky energy. As long as this card as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon it provides colorless energy. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, draw a card. Oh okay. I quite like those. It gives you card advantage and put on a tanky Pokemon that goes sit there for a while. And then a Slurpuff. Follow the scent. Flip three coins. Put a number of cards up to the number of hairs from your discard pile into your hand. Again, it's, it's recycling. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. So let's see. Another cast form. It's got a stadium and card. If you can't detect, there's nothing. Uh, so you don't actually want eight for this one. So you got to play this in a world deck and cast form kind of gets you going there. Okay, interesting. Hey, there's the Heracross after doing his ab workout. Single horn throw. Flip two coins. If both of them are heads, it's like 160 more damage. Again, super difficult to get off, but I get, if you get it off, that's 200 damage. So, yeah. Good work out, Heracross. <laughs> Quillfish, single strike. Bursting needles. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is knocked out by damage when attacked from your opponent's Pokemon, but six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Not bad. And poison jab is 30 damage plus poison. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, not a bad card. Let's see. Caitlyn. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck in any order, then draw that many cards. Hmm. I guess, I guess, I don't know, it's it's good, but I don't know if it's great. Galarian Chestplate. If the Pokemon's card is attached to has Galarian in this name, it takes 30 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. Yeah, that's not bad, that Galarian Surf Edged. Taking 30 less damage, again, that's not a great example, but that's not bad, hey, just taking 30 less damage. I'm okay with that, I'm very okay with that. If you Galarian, at least. Journey, discard your hand and search your deck for up to two trainer cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Ah, uh, okay. 
Ooh, maybe with Rose Tower, that wouldn't be bad. Interesting. Dino Tree Heal. Pokemon both yours and your opponent can't be healed. Ooh, that's ugly. That is ugly. Again, it's... Uh... Oof. Yeah, that can make it terrible for some people. Huh, okay. And then... Ooh, Blissey V. Natural Cure. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, it removes... It recovers from all special conditions. Okay, that's alright. This attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to this Pokemon. If you did any damage with this attack, you may attach up to 3 energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. Oh no, it looks like a camera died. No! <laughs> Got that. Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> Let's try this again. Sorry, everyone. Oh man, that's disappointing. There we go, I'm back. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there, but my USB port. USB port decided to just die. Alright, Blissey. That's interesting. Alright. Um It's energy acceleration, which is never a bad thing. I mean like that's that's alright, so I'm kind of okay with that. Alright, well, let's see what we can do next. Let's open another. I am kind of here for this all day, so I kinda of kinda of want to get this going. Double check that my camera is working fine now. It's almost fine. Let's just change that. So everyone doing this like live. Alright. Uh the cast form, shepherd, rock rough. Mm, nothing terrible. Fire resistant gloves. Same gloves, but now you're just resisting fire. Or you deem more damage to fire. Oh, new Laren. Oh, that's actually really cool artwork. I like that like cave. Really cool. Let's be honest. I, this card could actually be interesting for that. For, I'm, I want to build that cast form deck now. I think it's so terrible. I want to try it. I want to see how bad it really is. Um, ooh, Gallade. 170 HP. That's not bad. Faint. This attack's damage isn't effective by resistance. And Dino Blade. This attack deals 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. That could be great. Again, situational, but it could really be great. And... Hello. That's a pretty card. Uh, oh, it's locked, unfortunately. Urn of Vitality. Shuffle up to two single strike energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Oh, man, I wish this card wasn't locked. Damn. It is a pretty card, though. It is a very pretty card. All right, let's keep going. It's actually fun opening boosters. I haven't opened boosters in a long time. Tend to just hold them. Uh, let's see. Blitzel. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> um, Kapu. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Diglett Squad coming in hard. I like that. Down the hill. Drizzle practicing some Tai Chi. I like it. Quillfish going on nicely. And... Ooh. Ooh, Art Seabold. Very cool. Very cool. I am very happy with the full art. Hey, got a nice pull today. I like that. Nice. I love those full art cards. Those full art trainers are always like so worth it. I'm always happy seeing them. Always very, very happy seeing them. Let's see. What's new here? Ink, delivery ink, making curry, I like it. I actually need to pick up this this um expansion in, in Sword and Shield. I haven't actually played it yet. Old Cemetery, that's creepy. Whenever any player touches an energy card from their hand to one of their non psychic Pokemon, two damages on, on that Pokemon. Alright, so you basically, if you're playing a psychic type deck, you just put this down to grief your opponent. Hey, it's it's a valid way to play it. A very valid way to play it. Um, Deli Bird bringing in those nice, nice presents. This Pokemon all attach cards into your deck. If you do search your deck for a card or put that into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, but it is interesting at least. And another Persimian. All right, well, let's carry on going. I'm really happy with that full art still. Like, I'm still right on the back of that. Like, that's a super exciting card. Um, sorry, I just realized that my white balance is doing weird things. All right, there we go. That should be a bit better. Um, yeah, that full art. I love opening up full art trainers. It really is one of those things, like, I wish these cards were physical so I could add them to my uh, rare file. Hello, Shadow Riders uh, Calyrax VMAX. Uh, 320 HP. This is a very nice pool. Underworld door. 
Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon. If you attach an energy to a Pokemon this way, draw two cards. What? What? That is crazy good. So you both energy accelerating and you drawing cards. For free. And this doesn't have to be an active spot to do it. You could attach it to itself. This deck does 30 more damage for each psychic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. What? That's good. So, Max Geist will take a while to kind of get online. But that is a really good card. That is a really good card. Ooh, I need to hold on to this. I mean, like, with Fog Crystal, that's so great. Man, that's good. That's a really good card. I am very happy with that pull. Like, I am really glad I opened up Calamax. All right. Man, this, these card storms are coming to me. Like, they really want to make this happen. Um, Sabled, another Cub Fu. And another slip off. Not a great, not a great pack, but hey, I had a great one previously. So I'm really okay with that. All right, let's see what we've got going here. Um, Path the Peak. Pokemon of the rule box and play have no abilities. Ooh. Interesting. So basically, it shuts down a lot of your Pokemon Vs and Vmax. Like that. Interesting stadium. Very interesting stadium. All right, what have we got here? Ooh, Zangoose Rapid Strike. That's a really cool artwork. Man, that's cool. That's like super anime inspired. I love it. Well done. Damn, that's cool. If you play a Rapid Strike support card from your hand during this turn, this tactics 50 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's cool. That's a very interesting card. Again, I don't know if it's super competitive, but just as an awesome card, fantastic. Hey, it's meant to be. Shadow Rider Calyrex V. Oh man, it's such a beautiful card. Shadow Mist. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any special energy or stadium cards in their hand. That's cool. Astral Barrage. Use two of your opponent's Pokemon and put uh, five damage counts on them. Oh, so it's just straight. You just take 50 damage. That's cool. Man, I just bought a Calyrex deck, apparently. That's very, very cool. All right, let's keep going. Got some awesome pulls going today. Some really great pulls. I'm happy with those Calyraxes. I'm very happy with those Calyraxes. All right. Ooh, a new Thunderous. Assisting Spark. You may attach a Psychic. A Psychic. I got Calyrax in my mind. Uh, a Latin Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. And then Thunder. Ah, the Thunder's not that interesting. But as an Energy Accelerant in a, like, basic Lightning type deck, it's not bad. Um, Man, I gotta put some work in, in events to pick up some boosters. I need trade for those Calyraxes. Ha! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Ice Rider Calyrax. A VMAX. 320 HP. Ride of the High King. That sounds so great. This attack does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Ooh, so I guess like, oof, against those dark type decks, this is gonna deal some really good damage. Max Lance. If you may discard up to two water and up to two energy from this Pokemon. If you do, this deck does 120 more damage for each card. So you can swing for 250 with this. Ooh, that's nice. That is, that is very nice. 250 damage. Max Lance. That's a really cool card. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Got some good pulls going today. The Calyraxes are coming through. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, ooh, Flannery. Discard a special energy card from one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard a stadium in play. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hey, that cocoon has got some serious max, like maximum anime power going here. Hey, those th that ab workout from that Weedle worked. That is a really cool cocoon. I love it. Well done. And a wheezing. Mixin Toxin. Bonus active Pokemon is now confused. Attach a dark energy card from discard pile to this Pokemon. Smog Burst. This takes 20 more damage for each dark energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those interesting cool cards. That's kind of like, it's just, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's great or good, but it's very decent. 
Um, spiral energy. This card can only be attached to Rapid Strike Pokemon. If this card is attached to any other, any to anything other than a Rapid Strike Pokemon, discard this card. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but provides only one energy at a time. Pokemon this card is attached to can't be paralyzed, and if it's already paralyzed, it recovers from a special condition. Okay, interesting. Not bad. It's it's decent. It's kind of like an Aurora energy, but just prevents paralysis, which is quite cool. Oh, Galarian Moltres. Dire Flame Wings. Once during your turn, you may attach a Dark Energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. You can't use more than one Dire Flame Wings ability each turn. Okay, that's fair. And then Aurora Burn. This Pokemon deals 30 damage to itself. For 190 damage, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. So it's able to charge itself up pretty quickly. Not bad, not bad. Very beautiful artwork. I'm very happy opening it up. Man, I need to play Pokemon again in real life, just to have a rare file. Alright, let's see what we've got. Let's see what we can get. Did I open a Brawly? Oh yeah, I've just seen a Brawly already. Another cast form, they're calling to me. And... Hey, Shaman. Return. You may draw a card and have six cards in your hand. I'm always happy with a card like that. And Sky Return. Put this Pokemon all attached cards into your hand. Yeah, just to get it out of dodge, it's not a bad card. But again, it's nothing... Nothing fantastic. Oh, that's all of them. I didn't see that was the last one. Ah, uh, not bad. I must say, with those Calamaxes, I am very happy. Um, yeah, let's open these up. I know it's probably better to keep them for trades, but I'm in the mood to just open cards up. So let's see. Some really cool cards coming out of the new set there. Um, I must say, I'm probably going to be building a cast form deck. Labyrinth for Sand. As long as Pokemon is an active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat. That's very cool. There's a geyser. If your opponent has a stadium in play, discard it. If you discard a stadium in this way, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. It's irritating this if your opponent. If you, it should be just if there was a stadium in play. Quite sad. Yeah, I must say I'm honestly tempted to build a cast from deck just to see how good or bad it is. And to see what I can do with it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Um, Power of Waters. Speed cost of each Rapid Strike Pokemon in play is two less. I guess it's kind of decent. Oh, hey, we got ourselves a single strike Urshu, uh, Urshifu VMAX. Nice. Discard all energy from this Pokemon. This attack's damage isn't affected by any effects. You just beat down on your opponent. Very cool. Well, that's a nice pull. That Oh, I got two. Got some pretty decent pulls today in terms of the VMAXs. I don't got a full art trainer. This has been a pretty good day. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Uh, an experience share. And another full art. Arena's focus. Draw cards into six cards in your hand. Got really lucky with our full art trainers today. That's the second one I pulled. Man, that's cool. And let's open up our Sun and Moon series. I think I got this from an event this weekend. Let's see what, what we got for ourselves. Um actually really cool magic art magic cop art and let's see got ourselves an egg slash with royal guard not bad not bad and ah oh, just a bishop oh well, hey that was a pretty good day got some really cool new cards that came out of that um yeah interesting very very interesting um i must say like oh that didn't come up here those calamax is those Calamaxes are interesting. Those Calamaxes are very, very interesting. I think I have a bit of fun with that. And the cast forms, honestly, I might put a deck into this. Might make a deck from it, but I kind of see how it goes. I don't know if I have enough. But hey, Calamax, definitely, definitely, definitely something I'm very happy about. Why? Do, how do you spell Calamax? The K? Oh, why? Very, very interesting Calamax is coming out of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. All right. Well, I hope you had some fun with that. I certainly had a lot of fun opening these up. Uh, let me know what you think about the cards I pulled. Did I pull anything interesting? And what is your favorite? Um, and yeah, from this, like, what do you want to see in the future? What type of deck do you think I should try out? Uh, this Calamax VMAX is very tempting. I think I need to play a few more events to get a few more boosters to pick up the cards I'm missing. But... That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Well, 
As always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you did like the video, please do consider liking, subscribing. It really does help me out. It's actually really sad. I was looking at my, my uh, stats. 90% of people watching these videos don't actually subscribe. That's quite sad. But anyway, I hope you had some fun. I had a ton of fun. And until next time, cheers. Enjoy.